Physiological sigh is a technique for stopping stress and anxiety. This method is ideal for those high-intensity situations where we feel like losing control of our thoughts. Often in these situations, we'll try to use our minds to quiet our minds. However, in this exercise, we'll do something purely mechanical by breathing in a certain way. Using this method, we can regain control by calming the fight-or-flight response and lowering our heart rates. So in this video, we will discuss what is physiological sigh. The video will be amazing. Please stick to the end. If you didn't experience anxiety before the COVID-19 pandemic, you most likely do now. Although there is nothing wrong with turning to medication for relief, breathing is a powerful anxiety reducer available to all of us. Yes, a mental stress overload may be relieved by simply breathing. Of course, breathing is something that all of us do naturally. We do it every day of our lives and it never stops to take a break. It happens unconsciously most of the time, yet it is easy to forget that we have much control over when and how we breathe. This is especially the case when encountering stressful situations at work, home, driving in heavy traffic, taking a test, doing a job interview, or preparing to go on stage. The autonomic nervous system in our bodies prepares us for action when we are under stress. You may be familiar with the fight, flight, or freeze response. Under stress, your breathing can often become quicker and shallower. This is so the body can absorb more oxygen and generate the energy required for the fight-flight stress response. Excess carbon dioxide is also produced by the body gearing up for action. The increased breathing rate acts to get rid of this additional gas and tries to retain control and balance over the respiration function. One of the best ways to calm your body and mind under stressful circumstances is to consciously control your breathing. When you breathe slowly and deeply, you are sending a message from your diaphragm. The thin muscle that sits at the bottom of the lungs which flattens and raises to create inhalation and exhalation via what is known as the phrenic nerve through the spinal cord and to the brain. Physical sighing or cyclic sighing is easy, convenient, and cost-free. If you're feeling rattled, take two quick breaths, typically through the nose and a long exhale through the mouth as Huberman does in the example above. Spiegel suggests repeating the cyclic sighing for about five minutes to reap the full benefits, even though you might feel more at ease after just one or two of these exercises. According to Huberman, the second inhale of the double inhale is really important because it allows for both the release of carbon dioxide and more oxygen intake. According to Spiegel, exhalation is also essential because it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which in turn causes your heart rate to slow and has a calming effect on your entire body. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic. So how do cyclic sighing? Inhale two snips through the nose. Slightly hold, and then one slow sighing, exhale out the mouth. Repeat three times. Pay attention to how you're feeling during the breath. One or two cycles are enough. You're not trying to end up sleepy. You can practice this regularly both when you're feeling anxious and when you're just looking for a bit more balance. One or two cycles are definitely enough if you're not feeling stressed. If you want to use this to help you manage and reduce stress in an activated moment, doctors recommend initially and frequently practicing the breath when you are already feeling calm. Then it will be more effective at relieving you when you're stressed or activated. Your nervous system will have an imprint of the experience and remember that this breathing pattern helps calm you down. How does the physiological sigh work? During most of the time, our breathing is automatic like digestion and other bodily functions. You can very easily take over and control your breath, which then affects your overall physiology and stress response, Spiegel says. Stressful moments can trigger physical changes like a faster heartbeat, tightened muscles, and sweaty armpits all of which can lead to negative thoughts. As soon as you notice what's going on in your body, your brain thinks, oh no, this must be really bad, and you get more anxious, Spiegel explains. It's like a snowball rolling downhill. And for those with anxiety disorders, the feeling can be crushing, making everyday life more difficult. As Huberman breaks down the breathing exercise, it allows you to feel calmer in real time, meaning without having to disengage from the stress-inducing activity. On average, the controlled breathing participants experienced a daily increase in the positive effect of 1.91 points on the positive and negative effect schedule scale. In comparison, the mindfulness meditation group saw an increase of 1.22 points, meaning the improvement from controlled breathing was greater by about one-third. And cyclic sighing in particular resulted in the most significant daily improvement in positive feelings. Sighing, emphasizing slow exhalation, may be the most effective controlled breathing to combat stress. Spiegel and Huberman still want to investigate controlled breathing more with MRI tests to measure brain activity. But in the meantime, there's no downside to trying the straightforward physiological sigh next time you need a minute. The neural circuits that control the heart work more slowly than those that control the lungs, so the heart rate will take about 40 seconds to come down. 
If your congested sinuses make breathing difficult for you to breathe through your nose, you can clench your teeth, open your lips, and breathe through your mouth before exhaling normally. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.